Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading, the third week in May, from the time you view this video or from the 16th till the 23rd. Quite the week, loves, since this week is the week when we are moving into a whole new season. But let's begin with the beginning. The 16th, we have Jupiter that moves in Taurus, and that really speaks about amplifying everything, whatever you got now. If you are in a great energy, it will amplify more. If you are not in that great energy, it will amplify that more. So make sure you are balanced certain things out there or making sure that you are doing the right things at the right time for the right reason. On the 19th, we do have the new moon in Taurus. Manifest big, don't be afraid. Even those material things you want to obtain, even that love energy to come to you, do it right. On the 20th, we have Mars moves in Leo. If you have an idea or a creative project of any kind, now is the time. As you know, Mars is an Aries ruler or the planet for Aries, but it's also that go get, do it, go ahead, move along. And finally, on the 21st of May, we do have the Gemini, Sun in Gemini, the new season, and it's great for all of you who want to connect with others, new partnerships, new contracts, business connections, or work better connections, and so on. And of course, that being said, let's see loves what we have for you and how this week looks tarot wise. And of course, we have the Denise Lean for additional messages and advices. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. Welcome, loves, whatever in the world you are. Try to intune and keep in here this energy at a high vibration. Because being a high vibration, we are bringing the most highly vibrating messages. All right. Five of Wands, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, an ace of wands okay look at you the capricorn i'm speaking for this week it seems here it's a it's a week when you are distancing yourself from some kind of people or some kind of conflict or some kind of crowdness i feel here for some of you, you might be in help to get away from or there is somebody who advise you to do so or you are asking your guides or even watching this video. But definitely there is something here that you just feel like, you know, I don't affiliate with this energy any longer. I am much more in something else, especially around the, the, the new moon in Taurus, because this is the, the magician itself. I manifest something better and I'm going to go and grab it. And yes, look at this, Ace of Wands. You definitely are going there. Yeah, look at this, Magician and Three of Wands. Speaking of the Magician, Moon, King of Wands. You, the, the Capricorn I'm speaking, you might have your Moon in, in Leo, where you could have very strong fire in your chart. But I see you much more confident. Somehow, deep down, you you have that fear that did I make the right decision or am I making the right decision? King of Wands and Nine of Pentacles, they are very determined, very high vibrational. They are not really afraid to make decisions. And also the, the King of Wands is that go-getter king. I know what I'm putting on the table. I know what I want. And what I definitely deserve. I will clarify really quick this moon because indeed here we have two moons here like six of wands and the moon here 
and the night time. For some of you, you might a little bit worried of whatever it is, but it's kind of like conquering my fears anyway. Moon energy speak to me, Seven of Wands. I need to fight for what is mine or what I truly want. I need to stand up for myself. Judgment. Realizing that you don't need to fear or you don't need to explain to others what you want to do or what you expect from your life. And yes, world, it just kind of feels like, you know, done with proving myself or my skills or who I am. Yeah, look at this. King of Pentacles. The Five of Wands here. Who are these people? What is this card here for? Who are these energies are here for? Sun. It's kind of you. Again, the Sun speaks about Leo energy, but... It's like people think you you are immature with whatever you want or whatever you wanna gonna do and things like that because sun definitely is the ho the highest vibration the joyful card the happiest card in the tarot but also the people just kind of feel like doesn't make sense whatever you want to do whatever you want to start whatever you're going doesn't really make sense everybody has an opinion kind of or everyone thinks for themselves but I gotta say this for all of you loves just because someone think in a way doesn't mean that is the way you need to think too everyone thinks their way and everyone has their own gifts and some people might not understand yours as you might not understand theirs but not mean that that's not right or that's wrong one more card next to the sun four of wands it's like you you telling them like i will be happy i'll be successful i can do it by myself and people's just like are you insane they're just basically not there the six of swords I feel here also for some of you, you, you could have high expectation from some, some people to be on your side, but you realize that they are, they don't get your point or they might not be by your side. You know, in this moment, we, we realize who are those real people around us or who we need to keep around us and who we need to, it's not completely some sometimes we eliminate certain people or just kind of closing the the doors but it's more likely who you need to keep them at the distance because not everyone deserves to know your true you not everyone knows or deserve to be around you the six of swords star yes it's kind of like you know you you hope for certain things to be in a different way but it's okay because you make a decision and that decision you want to go towards it however i feel here for some of you you may feel like yes i want it this way but it's like you you are a little heart wise you you feel like you know mm, i I thought they will be happy or I thought they will react in a different way, but they are not. So that's kind of a feel like, you know, you you could expect it, somebody here to be happy or to cheer you up, but that was not the case. But it's kind of like, you know, I'll make it. I know this is for me. I want it. Nine of Pentacles, speak to me here. So whoever doesn't cheer you up, this mean that person is not getting it or they are not there for you. Six of Wands. It seems here whatever you have there, give yourself a chance to go and strive. Crush it over, loves. You know, somebody here, um, I'm hearing the other day a uh, phrase which... Many people might not get in it in, a, in other world, which I never got it to, but it's kind of like go and break her leg. I don't know what that means really, but it's kind of like go kill it, go 
go be and crushing it, be successful, do it. This is something here you definitely need to. And whatever here you do start, it's un unbelievable, beautiful that opening you a whole new world, a whole new chapter. Another thing here, look at this, seven of wands, six of wands, five of wands, four, three, and two. So we have ace of wands that we've seen in the beginning here on the bottom. The eight of wands, movement into your life quite a lot. For some of you, if you want to travel the world or want to do something that all the world to know it, go ahead, loves. I feel here that's something you definitely got to do. Don't listen to others. Listen to yourself and your true self. The judgment is definitely here for you that tells you you know who you are. Don't be afraid to go and do it. All right. Let's see one advice. Four of Cups. Just because you could fail back then or certain things here didn't go doesn't mean now will not gonna go. So the quitter is the one who leave everything behind. Six of Pentacles. You don't need to have it all. I feel here on the long way, there are people here will come for you, will come to help you, will come to cheer you, will come to show you. Eight of Cups. And then I feel here that's that bitter mouth that while I... I knew certain people, but I didn't know them well. Yeah, tower. Absolutely. King of Cups. So the only king we we miss, miss seeing here is King of Swords. And King of Swords really speaks of, if you have a clear vision, go ahead. Also, King of Swords speaks about, think out of the box. Don't, don't put yourself in the same basket where everybody puts you. You are not in that basket, jump off. And the tower definitely speaks off. Now is the time, don't even hesitate. The things doesn't need to be perfect. The things doesn't need to be, you know, there or those people doesn't need to be there. It's kind of a clean slate into something new. And there are people along the way that you'll meet, which will be more likely like you. As you see here, the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the uh, Six of Swords, the Six of Cups is missing. For some of you, in the next six months, you'll be quite far away from this point. And for others of you, definitely the past people or certain people from your past might not come along in a long run with you. You know, certain people will not come along with you, not because they are bad people or they are greedy or you name it, but because they can keep up with you or they can keep up with the progress you do. They probably are comfortable where they are. Some people are very narrow-minded. You might be way much open-minded and that's okay. Everybody's different. Everybody can do whatever they think they, they can or what's perfect for them. But I feel here there is a Capricorn who definitely here is through the progress, going towards progress. Let's see one advice here from the Oracles. Protected by angels, cleansing waters, ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Cleansing water, definitely I feel here that you are guided by your by your angels, by your spirits, what you need to keep with you and what you don't. You know, taking your boat, whatever is necessary and not whatever it's not necessary. It's like going in a voyage or going in a trip. You don't take the whole house with you or the furniture with you. You just take just necessary stuff. Keep going forward, yes, look at this. It's like you, you're going in um, camping or how you, how you name it when 
you are just going somewhere like this this guy is just going somewhere far away doesn't have anything with them just one stick I don't know how even you can name that but it's just feeling like let go whatever is not necessary move towards whatever you feel is right for you and go slow take your time you don't need to rush you are on the right direction you have your own speed and you are on the right path so Capricorns that's what we have for you for this particular week I hope this really speaks to you if it does let us know if you really enjoyed this reading or any other subscribe give it a like comment below reach out to us for whatever need you have and we'll see you next time namaste